Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to the wonderful Ridgeland, Mississippi. I'm your host, Malik Mingo. As you can see, I'm standing in front of this beautiful mural located right here in the Railroad District. And since we're not in New Orleans today, you know what that means. It's time for Great Day Louisiana's next one tank trip. We hopped in the car and drove three hours up I-55 to this part of Mississippi. This area is known for its scenic views and outdoor recreation. Here, you can enjoy strolling or jogging on the historic Natchez Trace or biking its tree line trails. You can also paddle your way through Mississippi's best waterfront destination, the Barnett Reservoir, or the Res, as locals call it. And on top of all of that, you must enjoy a juicy filet or a tender ribeye because Ridgeland is known as the steakhouse capital of Mississippi. Now, those are just a few attractions you can see here when you come to Ridgeland, but there's a lot more to see when you head over to Ridgeland's Visitor Center. That's actually where we're headed to next. Let's head inside and see what we can check out. Joining me now is Katie Coates. She is the Director of Marketing and Public Relations for Visit Ridgeland. Hey, Katie. Hello. Welcome to Ridgeland. Thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to be out here. And first, let me just say, driving around the area, what a beautiful city. Tell us a little bit more about what Ridgeland is known for. Well, thank you so much. Ridgeland, you know, is known as um, uh, shopping and dining and outdoor destination. We're really a small boutique community with big city amenities. So, as you know, we have seven hotels, over 150 restaurants, the list goes on. It's amazing. And you know, I love you all slogan, inside and out, because you can do things inside, you can do things outside. Let's talk about some of those outdoor amenities that you all have. Right, so we have our 33,000 acre Barnett Reservoir, where you can kayak, um, go boating, fishing is big here. And then of course we have uh, tons of miles of trails that go along with the Natchez Trace Parkway. Ooh, and you know what's cool? There's a lot of shopping you can do out here in Ridgeland. Tell me about some of you all shopping opportunities. Yeah, so right now we're at the Ridgeland Visitor Center at the Renaissance Shopping Center. It's kind of an outdoor European style uh, brick paved street shopping center. We've got over five districts. Um, they're kind of popping up with boutique shops, big name brands, the only Apple store in the state. So we've got a lot going on in the way Ooh, of shopping. Bring your wallets everybody. I already did. And you spoke about the Visitor Center moments ago. That's where we are right now everybody. Why is this a destination for people to come to when they come out here to Ridgeland. We have a wonderful uh, person who mans our front desk that can give you information on anything in the area, area attractions like museums, just uh, down the street in Jackson, our Bill Waller Craft Center here in Ridgeland, the Natchez Trace Parkway. So if you're confused about where to go and what we have to do or just want to say hello and ask us some questions, we're here to help. And if you want to cool off as well because the AC feels good up in here, okay? What's cool about Ridgeland, you can eat, you can shop, you can do so many things. You can also come to some great events. We're in October right now. Tell me about you all's Twilight Concert Series that just started. Yes, it did, and we our next one is going to be October 22nd uh, here at the Renaissance at a big green space across the way. Um, that'll come up. They announce new shows all year long. We have annual events like Eurofest in the fall. What is that? That is a classic European automobile and motorcycle show. It's really cool. It brings a lot of people to the area, um, and you can check out cars if that's your thing. And then in the spring, we have Art, Wine, and Wheels Weekend, which is made up of three different events. So cool, yeah. I cannot wait to explore Ridgeland today. Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you all want more information, just visit the website at the bottom of your screen. Now, I'm ready to explore the outdoors, everybody. I'm going to change clothes, and let's head over to our first outdoor destination. Now, as Katie just mentioned, the Natchez Trace is one of the most significant travel corridors in the United States. Although the Trace has a scenic trail that runs to Tennessee, there's about a half mile trek where you can experience the sounds of nature just a short distance from the city. This area is known as the Cypress Swamp, and guess what, everybody? I am out here now, and we're gonna learn a little bit more about it thanks to park ranger, Mandy Toy. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Malik. Welcome to Cypress Swamp. Thank you. Let's head down and learn a little bit more. You know, Mandy, this trace is absolutely amazing. So much history here, over 400 miles. It actually goes through three states. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of history here. What can you tell us about the history? Well, Natchez Trace Parkway was designated as a national park in 1938, and it was finished in 2005. Wow. And the parkway actually commemorates 
10,000 years of history. Amazing. Yeah, this was one of the most important travel corridors in the United States. It's so cool, and you know, like I said, again, over 400 miles of stuff we can see here. Let's talk a little bit about the attractions. Right now, we're here at Cypress Swamp. Tell me a little bit about this area and what we can do out here. So, Cypress Swamp is one of my favorite places. Uh, it is a bald cypress ecosystem. So, the parkway actually goes through four separate ecosystems and eight different watersheds. And so, here at Cypress Swamp, you can come here and look for alligators and turtles. Yeah, we were looking earlier. Right, and uh, sometimes there are osprey and other birds around. So, I really like to come here to get away mm -hmm. and just take a short stroll. It's a half mile loop here at the swamp and you can take in the sounds of nature just a, a short distance from the city and really relax. It's so cool because you can literally walk all the way around so you really get to enjoy all of the swamp and luckily with some cooler temperatures coming our way hopefully this oh. is really a nice place to come. You can also what jog over here walk over here as well right? Um, in this area, I would recommend driving to get up here, uh, but just across the road, there's a section of the Natchez Trace National Scenic Trail, and the Yakanukani section of trail is for the more adventurous. It's an unmaintained trail, oh, wow. but it's 26 miles in this area. It's the longest section of the Natchez Trace National Scenic Trail. So much to see here at this parkway. I want to ask you this, since you are a park ranger, when people come out here, what do we need to know before we come on out here? Well, I would definitely take some time to plan ahead. And if you can, visit the park website, download the National Park Service app. Because? Uh, because you can save the Natchez Trace section, the maps and all the information offline. Cell phone signals can be a little bit spotty. Yes. And so you'll have access to that. And it gives you a little information about all there is to see and do. So I would start with that. And then uh, for families, we actually have a Junior Ranger program and you can download a Junior Ranger book or give us a call and we'll mail you one. And uh, once you do all the activities while you're exploring the park, mail it back to us and we'll mail you a badge and of course your booklet back. I can get one of those? Something similar to oh this, Oh my yeah. goodness, and you know. There is so much history you can expect here at this Natchez Trace Parkway. Again, 10,000 years of history and look, like she said, if you want more information on how you can enjoy this area like I did today, make sure you head over to their website, nps.gov or call 662-333. 1077 and don't forget to download the app as well before you come out here and for more things to do in Ridgeland you can head over to their website visit Ridgeland.com now stay right there because we're just getting started on our one tank trip did you know Ridgeland is a premier destination for cyclists attracting thousands of riders each year I'll hit the trail to show you why coming up plus yes yes how do we turn Come with me as we go kayaking on the Barnett Reservoir. And after you build up an appetite, take a look at this. We'll dine at an award-winning steakhouse known for its finest steaks and freshest seafood. Speaking of the shrimp, look at how big these are, everybody. You're watching Great Day Louisiana's One Tank Trip to Ridgeland, Mississippi. Great Day Louisiana is on the road today for another one tank trip. We hopped in the car, traveling down I-10, and then we took I-55 North and landed here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Now, did you know that Ridgeland happens to be Mississippi's premier destination for cycling, whether you are a novice or a professional? Before you hit Ridgeland's most beautiful trails, you have to get the right equipment, am I right? Well, I'm out here at the bike crossing today to see what they have to offer when it comes to all of our cycling needs. Let's head inside to see what they have to offer. Ooh, I like that. The bike crossing is a full service shop uh, to facilitate the needs of our community. So we offer full sales, service, uh, we promote events locally, put on bike rides, um, etc. 
We sell the two most premier brands in, in the country. Giant Bicycles is the biggest company in the world, and Trek uh, sells the most bikes nationally. So we sell hybrids, kids' bikes, mountain bikes, road bikes, triathlon bikes. We sell a bike for everybody. We sell aftermarket pedals, shoes, saddles, helmets, bottle cages, socks, gloves, apparel, anything you possibly need. Most important things are going to be headlights and tail lights for safety and your, your helmet. What I like about Ridgeland is the accessibility of the trails are really close by. Uh, the multi-use trail literally starts out our front door, so you can get there to there 200 meters, and then our off-road mountain bike trails are just four miles away, and the Nassar's Trace is half a mile away. So we have a bar located in the back uh, for people come in and uh, they, if they're having their bike worked on or they're just tired from the bike ride and they come in and have a beer. We have four beers on tap, usually local beers, so, so people have an idea what's going on in this area in Mississippi. So uh, everybody has a good time. A lot of people come in, they may need some service uh, derailleur adjustment so their bike may not be shifting correctly. We try to get them in and out the door as quick as possible. Check their tire pressure, make sure their tires are aired up properly so they have a good and safe ride. Now everybody, another cool service they also offer here at the Bike Crossing is that they will fit you for your own bike. And joining me now for a personal fitting is the wonderful Daniel Mahan. He is a technician here at the Bike Crossing. Hello, my good sir. How are you? I am fabulous. I'm so excited to get out on the trail. And what's cool is that you all have already pre-selected a bike for me that'll do really well on the trail we're going on today. Tell me about this bike right here. Okay, so this is uh, what we call like a cruiser hybrid. Um, it's very comfortable very upright seating it's a very smooth ride you have the slightly fatter tires here you have adjustable pieces right here that gets you a little bit more upright again for for some more endurance riding the trails we have around here are very well made but we do have um, we do have quite a few hills here mm. so you know we want people to be uh, as efficient as they can so a fit is going to be a little bit more. well I'm excited to get fitted so what do we need to do to get started and let's do it all right so the first thing I need you to do is get on the bike oh okay yes all right, perfect. All right. Start pedaling. Start pedaling. Ooh, I'm already out of breath. Look at me. I'm going to see basically what your body is doing and how your legs are moving. I'm going to see whether or not I'm going to have to adjust the seat for you. Mm -hmm. Right now, the seat height is a little bit low. OK. So I'm going to have to adjust that for you. So I'm going to need you to get off for a second. Sure. So on these bikes, very, very nice. They just have this lever here. Seat comes up. Make sure it's aligned with the frame. Love it. And why is it important that our seat be the correct height? So if your seat is low, um, for the most part, you're just uh, losing efficiency, mm -hmm. meaning due to the angle that your leg is going to be in, yeah. you're going to have to exert more um, effort. Thank you so much for Absolutely. adjusting this for me, Daniel. Make sure you come see him at the bike crossing. And if you want to head over to the bike crossing, they're located right here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Their address is 192 Old Town Crossing. You can also give them a call at 601-856-0049. They have over 400 bikes in stock. To find out more, head over to bikecrossing.com to take a look at their inventory. All right, everybody, now that I've gotten my bike and, of course, I put on a helmet because safety is very important, now it is time to go check out one of the cool trails here in Ridgeland. But I need a little bit of help to know where to go. Well, luckily, joining me now to talk all about the trail we're about to ride together is Mr. Monty Clark. He is the president of Jackson Metro Cyclists. Hello, my good sir. How are you doing? Today, I am so excited now that I got a bike fitted for me. And I see you've got your bike ready to go. We're going on the Chisafaka multi-use trail today. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's part of the Natchez Trace trail system. Uh, it goes from the Overlook Point all the way out to west of Ridgeland where it terminates. Uh, the great thing is with the city of Ridgeland, it has been integrated into the larger trail system that Ridgeland has. So from this point right here, you can make it up to restaurants like Pelican Cove wow. at the reservoir. We can go back down to the west and we can make it over to the township where we have other excellent restaurants and hotels. I'm so excited to explore it all with you, my good sir. But I want to ask you, as the president of a cycling club, I'm sure you and your crew get out on this trail a lot. What do you love the most about biking this trail? It's it's shaded. Yes, it's, okay, heat. It's smooth. 
there's uh, there's no traffic. So if you're not in, enthusiastic about riding with cars, it is strictly for joggers, walkers, and cyclists. Love it. Now, if we're like novice cyclers, is this a trail that we can pretty much do? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. Well, I'm excited to do it with you, my good sir. Let's get on our bikes and let's go have a good time. Woohoo! Oh, he's got his ready to go. Lead the way, my good sir. Yay! Oh my goodness, Monty, we have made it to the Reservoir Overlook. We had such a great time. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, there are so many other cycling opportunities here in Ridgeland. I'm gonna check in with another cycling club to see what they have to offer. Let me go meet them. All right, this Reservoir Overlook is absolutely beautiful. I definitely see why you love coming out here. Tell me a little bit more about it and what you love the most about coming out to this area. Uh, well, the roads are smooth, uh, traffic is friendly, uh, it's nice and peaceful. Mm -hmm. And you know, our club, uh, we do a lot of early morning rides, oh. so we'll come out and ride and watch the sun come up. Ooh. And it's, it's beautiful coming over the, uh, the lake there. So. Absolutely, and if you want to come for a sunset as well, I'm sure it is just as gorgeous. Now, you all again, up for a really big event coming up in May. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so it's the uh, Natchez Trace Century Ride. Uh, it's hosted by Ridgeland's Park and Re Recreation Center. And uh, there's usually over a thousand riders wow. uh, from all over the country. Uh, we've actually had uh, uh, country music stars show up uh, and uh, professional racers. And, oh my goodness. Uh, it's a wonderful time, well supported, uh, nice rest stops, a uh, nice meal afterward with food and drinks, and uh, we just really enjoy having that, uh, that event. Yeah, and, and as the president of Soul City Cycling, I'm sure you and your crew are going to be out there for sure, and it's open to the public, so if I live in New Orleans, I live somewhere in southeast Louisiana, I can come and be a part of this event too? Oh yes, it's, it's open to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right, shout out to Soul City Cycling and everybody, like you said, that event is coming up in May. If you want more information about the cycling opportunities here in Ridgeland, head over to the Visit Ridgeland website. That is visitridgeland.com. Now look, stay right there, everybody, because coming up after the break, I need some AC and I also need some retail therapy. We're checking out some of the shopping opportunities here in Ridgeland when we come back. But as we go to break, I want to ride with Ari. Lead the way, my good sir, and let's go ride a little bit more. Let's go meet up with my we Will do. Let's go. Here we go. See y'all later. Welcome back to Great Day, Louisiana, everybody. You know, a great vacation would not be complete without a little shopping, am I right? And here in Ridgeland, Mississippi, they actually have five different retail destinations. Today, I'm out here at the Township at Colony Park to check out some of the great local stores and, of course, all the other things you can see here at the Township. Let's go meet up with Elise Schneider. She is the marketing manager here to see where we're going shopping. The township at Colony Park was developed about 20 years ago under the concept of new urbanism, which means that the original plan was to mesh residential, commercial, and retail space, which is what we've done here, and I feel like we've done it very well. Um, the concept has kind of developed over those 20 years into what we like to say is live, work, shop. We have several um, stores here in the township, and what makes it really special is that a lot of our businesses are smaller owned businesses by locals in our community and so whenever you shop local here you're supporting people in our own community. J. Olive is a really special store here in the township. It is a fine oils and balsamics uh, store here. They do um, infused olive oils, infused balsamics, so you can really elevate what you do in the kitchen. They do a pairing of the month to kind of con convince people to get more involved with their balsamics. Um, and they do 
tastings every day. You can come in and kind of see what your favorite tastes are, kind of where you lean. Um, the olive oils and the balsamics also make a great gift. Signature Gifts is a great store that we have here. They do a lot of great little happies type of gifts um, for if you go to a party and you want to give the host a gift or if it's your friend's birthday and you want to bring a little happy to her birthday party. They, have a, they also like to follow the holidays. So right now they have a lot of great Halloween decorations. Um, they have some furniture and home decor and they're also full of just a lot of great stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Foxwood was born out of a love for all things gardening. They have a great selection of plants and gardening tools. Um, if your thumb is not so green like my thumb, they also have a lot of antiques and pillows. It's just a great store. They follow the seasons for what's in season. So right now we're full of pumpkins and mums and there's just a lot of great stuff going on. Thank you! Wow. Thank you so much, how are you? Thank you. Yay. So we do have five hotels here in the township. Um, our newest hotel is called the AC by Marriott and they uh, love to help visitors feel like locals. They have a, an, an event on Thursdays that's called the third Thursday of the month where they do a happy, a special happy hour that's kind of with the theme. Last month they did a football tailgating event and then this upcoming month they'll be doing a Halloween event kind of happy hour. But yeah, there are five hotels here um, so everybody has a place to stay. There are several restaurants here in the township. We have a ton of great places to eat. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite, so it's whatever you're feeling that day. We have a great Mexican restaurant. We have a great French restaurant, a great burger place, a pizza place. We even have an old school, old timey uh, soda fountain down the way where you can get like a traditional hand spun milkshake. There's a ton of options here, so there really is something for everyone. Ooh, as you all can see, I had such a great time here at the township at Colony Park. Everybody, if you want more information about all the places you can shop, eat, and stay at, head over to their website, township.com. They are located right here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Now look, stay right there because coming up on our 110 trip to Ridgeland, Mississippi, if it's art you're after, look no further than the Bill Waller Craft Center, housing the work of 400 of Mississippi's most talented artisans. We're headed inside when we come back. Welcome back to Great Day Louisiana's One Tank Trip to Ridgeland, Mississippi. Take a look at your screens. Check out these beautiful wildflowers here at the Ridgeland Wildflower Field. Located near the city's railroad district, the fields are open to the public from sunup to sundown. You can see them in full bloom from spring to the late fall. And after the wildflower season, the city gets ready for the Ridgeland Scarecrow Trail, which is up now through the end of the month. This is kind of a tourism slash community project. We partnered with Keep Ridgeland Beautiful, a local committee who keeps up the field for us. Um, and we just wanted to get everyone involved in making something for our city that also attracts visitors. It's something you can do um, anytime while you're in town, so uh, it's gonna be cute. Whether it's scarecrows or wildflowers, this is a must do when you come visit Ridgeland. It's just beautiful, it's um, calm, it's fun to walk through with anyone, any age group. It's open all the time, so if you have happen to miss one of our regular annual Ridgeland events, you can always come and uh, check this out. It's a good photo op too. Now, Mississippi is known for its scenery, music, art, and literature, but one very special center is dedicated to promoting and preserving the work of its craft artisans. The Bill Waller Craft Center, located right here in Ridgeland, Mississippi, is a 20,000 square foot facility that's a mix of studios, classrooms, a retail gallery, and so much more. And today, we are out here, everybody, and joining now to talk a little bit more about this center is the wonderful Sherry Cox. She is the Director of Operations. Hello, my darling. Hey, how are you today? I am fabulous. 
fabulous. Ooh, it is so cool. I got the opportunity to take a tour of the place before we got started. Amazing in here, everybody. First, I want to ask you, though, Miss Sherry, tell us about the namesake of this craft center. Who sure. was Bill Waller? Well, Bill Waller was governor of Mississippi, and um, he was very instrumental, if not the one, that formed the Craftsman's Guild of Mississippi. Mm. And that's what we're home to here at the Bill Waller Craft Center. Um, the governor put together 35 artists and, um, and said, please save the dying arts. Yeah. So um, they did. Um, 35 is now 400 members. Wow. So we have grown quite a bit. But that was in 1973 when we started. And so now we here we are nearly 50 years. Still and, going and strong. And still going very and strong. And what I love the most about this place is like you said, it is a place where local artists can show off their work and we as visitors or locals even can come and enjoy all of that. This place is really split up into different galleries. First I want to talk about the one we're in right now. This is a gallery, but it's also a retail space. Tell me about some of the different things people can expect when they come into this gallery. Sure. Everything in here is made by a member of the Craftsman's Guild of Mississippi. And so we have different mediums, um, such as pottery, uh, metal, wood. Um, that Those are just the, some of the glass, some of the very, very popular mediums. And um, so everything in here is for sale. We like uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it promotes our craftsmen and as well as um, the center itself. It's so cool. So I'm wondering if we're coming in here and we're looking for a unique gift, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me about something we can get. Like these baskets right behind me, so gorgeous, all handmade. Mm -hmm. But Amazing. not for sale. But not for sale, it's just oh, for decoration. Those, are, those belong um, to the Craftsman's Guild. That's a part of our permanent collection. And they are made by the Choctaw Indians. Wow. And so we've had those for many, many years. So, so. cool. So if we're so, looking for like a unique gift, what's maybe one you suggest that well, we can only get here? Well, one I know you have had your eye on already yes. is um, the Thunder Gourd. So cool. And, uh, you know, my favorite thing to do with young people when they, we do a lot of field trips here. And so when the young people come through, I go and I show them that and go, what vegetable family did this come from and they all just they get up they're not sure and so then I'll say well it begins with a P and it's pumpkin and so gourds are part of the you know the pumpkin family squash family any of those but um, those particular thunder gourds are made by Mike and Michelle Thompson and they are from Raleigh Mississippi and they grow their gourds Wow! and then they also um, Michelle is the one who decorates them and they're so, well decorated as so well they are very well decorated. And it has so. instructions so when you go up to it, you shake it and it really sounds like thunder. I've had my eye on That's it. Right. You know that, Miss Sherry? A very cool gift for sure. But what's so cool is that, like I mentioned earlier, there are so many different galleries in here. There's a permanent collection that you all have mm -hmm. and then there's another gallery where they really switch it out all the time for other visiting artists. There's so much to see, including something for the Saints fans. There's a who that little piece of art that you can get as well. I want that one too. Miss Sherry, I want to mm -hmm. thank you so much you so for welcome. joining us this morning. Oh my God, I've had such uh -huh. a great time. And look, we're just scratching the surface, everybody. They do awesome classes here as well. If you want more information about the classes, more about the artists, look no further than their wonderful website. You're seeing all the information on your screen. Visit mscrafts.org. Remember, the Bill Waller Craft Center is located right here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. The address is 950 Rice Road. Now look, everybody, stay right there because we have a lot coming up on our one thing trip right here here in Ridgeland, we are going to check out the Barnett Reservoir. We'll go kayaking when we come back. Stay right there. You're watching Great Day, Louisiana. Welcome back to Great Day Louisiana, everybody. We're on a one tank trip today to Ridgeland, Mississippi. For those of you who love being on the water, we have the perfect outing for you. I'm here at the Barnett Reservoir, commonly known as the Res, and here you can do so many things like go kayaking. And guess what, everybody? I'm going on a guided kayaking tour today with Pearl River Kayaks. Joining me now to talk a little bit more about everything they offer is the wonderful Mandy Mullen, the co-owner of the business. Hello, darling. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for 
having us out here. Look at all these kayaks, everybody. I don't know which one to choose, <laughs> but I know you are definitely going to help me. The Barnett Reservoir is absolutely beautiful. That's where we're going kayaking today. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about the reservoir. Uh, it's our largest body of water here in the Ridgeland area. It, it spans from Ridgeland to Brandon, Mississippi. Got 33,000 acres of water, 105 uh, acres of shoreline. Uh, beautiful place to take your boat, your kayak, go fishing, enjoy your family. We've got lots of nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, but our favorite, of course, is taking the kayak out and yeah. enjoying a day on the water. It's definitely a sight to see for sure. Let's talk a little bit more about you all's kayaking adventures. Tell me a little bit more about the tour. What do we get to see on a one-on-one -on -one tour with you all? Well, since you're fairly new to kayaking, yes! uh, <laughs> I'm going to take you out, kind of give you one-on-one -on, -one on how to paddle, um, how to reverse, uh, just how to be safe in the kayak and have a good time. Yeah, and what do we get to see when we're out with you all? Uh, along the shoreline, you're going to have all kinds of foliage, tree life, all kinds of birds we see. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> uh, we might have a couple of fishermen out today, but it, it should be a pretty beautiful day. Um, lots of sunshine and yeah. Ooh, I cannot <laughs> wait. Well, look, like she said, I am pretty new to the kayaking game. We're going to get a quick lesson on land and then we're going to head out into the water. Let's go get started. All right, everybody, as you can see, I am ready to get out on the water. I've got my life jacket, I've got my oar, and I've got Ben Mullen with me. He is one of the co-owners of Pearl River Kayaks as well. Ben, thank you so much for teaching me how to kayak correctly. I want to ask Absolutely. you that question. Like, what are your biggest tips on how to effectively kayak? Effectively, I'll tell you the biggest tip that I can give anybody is, is how you paddle, how you hold the oar. Okay. It's key to everything. Number one, you want to hold it to where you can read it. Okay. Oh, to, okay. As long as you can read it. Good to know. And you notice your, your bigger fin is on the bottom. Fin is on the bottom. Cool. Yes. Good to know. When you're, a lot of people, when they want to put a pole in the water, they want to pull it to them. Yes. They'll use twice as much energy doing that. Hey, we don't want to do that. Put your pole in the water with the opposite hand. Okay. The hand that's up, you're going to push out. And that'll save you twice the energy. That's right, because I'm like, and you'll you last twice as long strength. on the water. Come on, and we want to be out here as much as possible. And what's cool is that you all do rentals here, right? When someone rents with Pearl River Kayaks, what all do we get with the rental? Um, you get delivery to the water. Ooh, very fancy. Um, you do. So you you'll get, come to us. We'll come to you. Love it. Yeah, we will come to you. We have several spots around the reservoir and along the river that we deliver. Um, we also will do private events. So we'll deliver it to your home if you have a lake or whatever. Um, and we'll get a boat and oar and boat, a life jacket? Life jacket and oar. Good to know. And they have so many different colored boats. It's amazing what you all are doing here. And look, I am ready. It is hot out here. Are you ready to get on the water? I'm absolutely ready. All right, let's do it, everybody. All righty, you ready? Ready! And let's go. You're off. Yay! Woohoo! All right, everybody, we have successfully docked. Ben, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks I had a coming. great time. Tell Mandy I said thank you as well. And look, everybody, if you want to kayak here on the Barnett Reservoir, look no further than Pearl River Kayaks. They work with ages 6 and up. For more information about them, head over to their website, pearlriverkayaks.com. They're located in Brandon, Mississippi. Now, look, everybody, I've worked up an appetite kayaking on this Barnett Reservoir. Here's the good news. There are actually restaurants here you can check out. Let's go check out one of them and see what's on the menu. Pelican Cove Grill is located right here on the water. Here you can enjoy local seafood, great cocktails, and lots of live music. There is so much to experience here, and we're getting a little preview of it all with Mr. Rich Ray. He is a chef here at this wonderful restaurant. Hello, my good sir. How you going today? I am wonderful. Do you all see this table? Okay. I am so excited to talk to you about all the great things you all feature. First, I want to talk about this right here. Tell me about this right here. This uh Black and red fish, mm. served on a bed of wild rice mm -hmm. with a crawfish cream sauce. Yum, so good. I want to talk about these wings right here because a little birdie told me you all have the best wings in the area. Tell me about you all's recipe. The sauce is house made. That's just a, a buffalo sauce. Mm. House made. People love them. They rave over them. 
Yum, ranch or blue it's cheese, what's your favorite? Ranch. Okay, come on with the ranch. You also have different options if you're maybe not in the mood for seafood. I see you all have a burger here, and tell me about this sandwich. Um, that's a ribeye sandwich. Uh, Hand cut ribeye from the lawn. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, horseradish sauce. Uh, Delicious, so good. And uh, what you drinking right now? We have three different types of, of rum in there. Oh, I love it. And one is coconut rum. I can taste it for sure. The food is great. The drinks are awesome. But what I love the most about this place, as you all can see behind me, you all are right on the Barnett Reservoir. Best view of the entire city. Uh, we have live bands seven days a week. Yeah. Two stages, two different bands play on the weekends. Uh, we close at 12. Hey. Two bars. Oh, it's so much fun, everybody. I love the way it's decorated. You all have stages inside, outside. You can eat inside or outside. So many different options park here at boats. Pelican Cove. And you can park your boat as well, which is so cool. There's actually some right behind us right now. I want to thank you, Rich, for joining us this morning. Thank you for all of this. I'm going to need some to-go boxes for sure. And look, if you all would like to come check out Pelican Cove Grill, they are located at 3999-A Harbor Walk Drive here in Ridgeland. For more information, call 601-605. 1865 or log on to pelicancovegrill.net. Now, speaking of food, everybody, here's a fun fact for you all. Did you know that Ridgeland is actually known as the steakhouse capital of Mississippi? With that being said, I had to try it for myself. Let's talk about this dish right here. Oh my goodness. Uh, up next on Great Day Louisiana's final stop on our one take trip to Ridgeland, we'll take you to Shapley's restaurant to see what's on the menu. Stay right there. Wrapping up our one tank trip to Ridgeland, Mississippi with a locally owned restaurant that is an award-winning steakhouse. And I am so excited, everybody, because joining me now is one of the owners of M.M. Shapley's. Please help me welcome Mary Shapley, everybody. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad that we are here as well. Thank you so much for hosting us. And first, I want to say congratulations, because this really is a Ridgeland institution. You all have been around for almost 40 years. And first, I want to ask you, what made you and your husband want to go into the steakhouse business? Well, that's kind of been his passion. He loves to cook. Um, just his dad was a great cook. His mother was a great cook. And that's just something that Mark always wanted to do. He tried a couple of other things um, prior to it and then just said, I want to do it. Yes. And we were dating at the time. And so he said, you know, we just kind of did a little joint joint effort. I love so, it. And 37 and years later, you yeah. all are still here and thriving. I love the name, Mark and Mary M.M. M. Shapley. See what they did there? <laughs> so cool. You all's menu is so diverse, so many different things. I want to talk about first, of course, one of the stars of you all's show here, the steak. Tell me about what we have right here. Uh, well, they're, they're filets, which is um, one of our most popular cuts. Mm -hmm. And uh, the crab meat is just a, a lump crab meat with topped with a little bit of cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one is mushrooms. So it's just kind of features a couple of our favorites. So many different options. You all have the ribeye as well. And you all have your own seasoning that you put on this steak? We I do. can taste it. Yep, we use our uh, seasoning on all of our dishes, actually. Delicious. And you can get it when you come here to M.M. Shapley's. Now, for all my seafood lovers, everybody, let's talk about this dish right here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is one of our uh, the favorites. It's a redfish, and you can get an option of lump crab meat or the uh, grilled shrimp, and it comes with the Leonese potatoes and the green beans. Oh, and the so. sauce on the bottom? Delicious. Oh, it's the potatoes, and look, we're getting our vegetables here with the green beans, everybody. Now, look, speaking of the shrimp, look at how big these are, everybody. And below these fried shrimp is you all's signature fries. Signature Tell fries. me a little bit about that. Well, it's just something that, um, uh, um, Mark has just kind of grown up with and loved to have fries, and uh, some people go, oh, French fries, but once they try them, they love them. So Delicious. Just, Everything's so good. And then we can have some Mexican. The tamales? The tamales. Tell me about these. That is uh, Mark's grandfather's recipe, and um, his dad used to hand roll them um, uh, way back, and so that's just a continued uh, mm -mm -mm. thing that they've done. and. Uh, it's a lot of a delta thing too. So mm -hmm. Chicken or pork? 
uh, beef. Mm, even it's better, beef. yes, yep. everybody. And what I, I love so much is that you all have this farm to table concept as well. Tell me about how you all incorporate that into UL's dishes. Um, we have, Mark uh, is just loves to garden also. It's kind of therapy for him. And um, so we have a garden right out in front of the parking lot. Uh, we have a, a parcel of land. And so um, right now, uh, not much is, is growing. The tomatoes, and we are getting some eggplant, and we'll do some eggplant Parmesan specials. And um, so uh, cucumbers, he was doing some kind of bread and butter uh, cucumbers. So and many pickles. different options here. Yeah. Like you said, when you come to M.M. Shapley's, you can see the garden. They are growing the vegetables, everybody. Mary, the food is delicious. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Congratulations on everything. And guess what, everybody? When you come to M.M. Shapley's, you have to stop at the bar as well. Let's go learn a little bit more about their extensive wine list and their signature cocktails. All right, everybody, I've made it over to the bar here at Shapley's. As you can see, some people are already there. And joining me now to talk a little bit more about their wine list is a sommelier here at Shapley's. Please help me welcome Mr. Jeffrey Shapley. Hello, my good sir. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks Thank so you for much having for me. coming on. Love this place so much. <laughs> and you know we got to talk about some wine. You Absolutely. are a sommelier. You all have over 150 different wines here. Amazing. Yes. And you are actually crucial in really creating the wine list. How did you go about thinking about the wine menu especially when it comes to the food you all serve here well uh, a lot of that was basically uh, Mark and I were talking and we wanted to make sure there were affordable wines and you know a wide variety of wines so we have wines from France Italy Spain a lot in California uh, which are just some great wines and some other wines around the world uh, and that was kind of what we wanted to do was uh, I just have a great variety and also have some affordable wines that, you know that people you, love you look at the menu everybody he's got the reds, the whites, the rosés, but since we had a filet a little bit earlier, yes. I wanted to get a selection from you on what we should drink when it comes to having a filet. You bought us a selection. Tell me about what you bought us and let's pour it up. Oh. <laughs> so this is the uh, St. Supri 2018. St. Supri is a Cabernet, but it also has some uh, Merlot Malbec, so it's a little bit of a blend in there, but also this is aged in French oak, which is going to kind of give it an ease on those tannins that you usually feel with the Cabernet. The Cabernet pairs so well with any kind of red meat that you have or even lamb. I love it. Let's pour it up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So good. And I just want to say I love you all's dining room. Lots of it has their own little different, you know, areas so that yes. you can really enjoy your celebration in your own privacy. Everybody has their own little space so they get to really enjoy themselves and you know, but you know, it's not completely private, but uh, I think that's what people like so much about it. They get to kind of experience have that, that semi-private Mm -hmm. this and also get to get to really enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, since you're a sommelier, give me one tip on how to best enjoy the wine. Uh, all right, first you wanna you wanna swirl it. Oh, I a already bit. did that. Yet, yeah, see, mm -hmm. <laughs> nice body bouquet. You know all of that. Let's taste it. Let's see. Oh yes. Cheers one more time to you, my good Absolutely. sir. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us thank this you morning. For having and of me. course, thank you so much to Mary as well. Look, if you want to come out to Shapley's, they're located right here in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Their address is 868 Center Street. Head over to mmshapleys.com for more information or call 601-957-8000 to set up a reservation. We would also like to thank Visit Ridgeland for hosting us today and all of the businesses we featured. This is a one tank trip you can take with friends or the family, especially if you love outdoor adventures. Now, you know I had to try a signature cocktail, everybody. This is the antidote. Shout out to Missy for making this for me. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, she did this, everybody. We want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, we'll be back here for another episode of Great Day Louisiana very soon. Until then, I'm Malik Mingo. Make it a great day, Louisiana, and happy traveling.